Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the best sets to do in the Series 4 Trophy Set. Someone suggested that I do this video so I figured you guys want to see this for the Series 4. Of course going over all the sets and what I think you guys should do. So if you guys enjoyed the video smack the like button and hit that sub button down below but I guess we start off with the Master Set. So is it actually worth it to get Justin Houston? So we have the Series 4 Master Justin Houston, which tossed, you know, 110 trophies. And then there is the NAT one, which is 55 trophies. Now, obviously, that's a lot of trophies to go ahead and get. If you guys are, you know, unfamiliar with how to actually get trophies, the only way to do it is play Weekend League, uh, to play Seasons, to play Mutt Draft. I believe you might be able to get them in Salary Cap, I think. So those are basically the only ways to actually go ahead and get trophies. So it does take a little bit to get 110. Is it actually worth it? Let's take a look. So let's take a look at Justin Houston. As you guys can see on the Xbox One, he's currently going for almost 350K and his price has actually gone down recently. And then on the PlayStation, he's almost to 300K. That's really bad for 110 series trophies. Now let's take a look at the actual card itself though. So he does have 82 speed, 86 acceleration. So he's decently fast for an outside linebacker. Uh, he has 90 block shed, 90 hit power, 90 pursuit. He has 93 power move and a 90 finesse move. So, yeah, that, that's basically it for this Justin Houston. Uh, he does have an 88 strength as well and a 93 play rack. I think the card is okay. Um, it, it's not the best pass rushing linebacker in the game right now. But you guys also have to keep in mind, he does have a Team of the Week boss item, or actually a limited time card, which I will show you guys that card as well. But for 110 series trophies, is he actually worth it? So in my opinion, if you're doing this set to sell Justin Houston, I would not do the set. I don't think it's worth it at all, but I do have to say, if you're trying to actually get his limited time card, and I'll show you guys that card stats compared to my outside linebacker, just kind of show you how good that card actually is, and maybe if you want to pick him up, the NAT set, that one might be worth it if you're strictly trying to get Justin Houston. If you're doing like an all-time Chiefs team, or just in general, you like the card and you want to pick up his limited time card with like training points, which of course would be really cheap, or at least cheaper than buying it off the auction block, you can do it that way, but I'll show you guys the boss's stats. So as of right now, limited time Justin Houston is currently going for 725k. That's actually not a bad buy, seeing how training points wise, it's going to cost you 24,000 training points to get him. Uh, as of right now, like the best value is a 96 overall Ghost of Madden player. They're like 520,000 coins around there, and that's 18,000 training points. So you need to get that, and then you also need to get 6k more. So you're looking at about 650, almost 700,000 coins worth of training points to get this Justin Houston. Honestly, wouldn't it be too bad of an idea to just buy this Houston for this much? And then once you're done with the card, or if you're ever done with the card, you can just go ahead and quick sell it. That's only if you're going to get rid of it eventually. But take a look at the actual card compared to Demarcus Ware, which is my current outside linebacker, powered up. Uh, if you power up Houston, you have one less speed, one less excel, one less strength. Same block shed. The power move, power move would be one less, but the finesse would actually be four better. So it's definitely a pretty good card if you want to go with the NAT version and pick up this Justin Houston. Personally, though, I like Demarcus Ware better. I feel like Von Miller's probably better as well, who just got a primetime performer uh, last week. So personally, I would probably say to not pick up this Houston, uh, just because I feel like there are some better pass rushers and also Justin Houston getting a newer card probably will be quite a while because he's not really a sought after guy as much as like a Von Miller is. So personally, I don't think either of those sets are worth it. Now, of course, the other sets that we have are the 86 to 89 overall lead player pack, which only costs 15 trophies, and then the 90 to 92 overall elite player pack. So 15 trophies. Right now, a trophy quick sells for 1,500 coins, so you're looking at about 22.5k if you were just quick sell the cards or the trophies instead of actually doing this set. Let's see what players you can actually pull. So taking a look at the most expensive 89 overalls in the game, I do not believe you can pull a Team of the Week here out of this. Uh, I'm not sure about a Team Diamond, but I'm going to guess no for the Team Diamonds. So that would mean that Aaron Donald is the best possible pull 
that you can get in the set. And that's 180,000 coins. But you guys have to remember, yes, you can possibly pull him. But look how many cards there are. There are 18 pages worth of cards. The odds of you actually pulling Aaron Donald out of this pack or anyone in this page in general is probably super, super low. JJ Watt, 73K. Uh, Jalen Ramsey right now is going for 80K. Zach Martin, 78,000 coins. Von Miller, 79,000 coins. Khalil Mack. There's definitely some pretty good cards to go for quite a bit, but the odds of you actually pulling them, probably not very high. So is this set actually worth it? Now, in terms of the lowest possible cards you guys can pull, we have Veneric, who's 18.6 thousand coins. You would literally be better off quick selling the trophies than doing the set if you pulled Chuck or anyone on this page for that matter. All these guys go for 20,000 coins or less. And that's just one page. There are literally 18 pages. And I'd imagine that the next three pages or so are probably all around 22 to 25,000 coins, which means in my opinion, this set is probably not worth it. Now, as for the 90 to 92 overall elite player set, that cost 50 series trophies. So, taking a look at the best players you could possibly pull, if you can, I'm not positive. Mud Hero Bobby Wagner is going for 445k. JJ Watt Gatorade is 380k. Besides that, we have some other Mud Heroes. And then, of course, we have Team of the Week Hero George Kittle, 300k. A Team Diamond is 314,000 coins. And you guys can see the rest of the players. So, obviously, these are the best possible players. On this same page, there's players that don't even go for more than 250k. And Marshawn Lattimore, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, Matthew Judon, these guys are about 250, 260k. So that's not super profitable. The best possible you can get is 400k. And on the same page of players, which is 13 pages, you can get as low as 250k out of the best possible pulls. And then taking a look at the lowest pulls you could possibly get, we have Dick LeBeau's 71k, Glover Quinn, Philip Lindsay. Another Beneric, uh, 90 overall, Chandler Jones, Jack Tatum. A lot of players in here are going between the ranges of anywhere of 70,000 coins to about 150k in terms of the people you're actually probably going to pull. Your odds of pulling like a 92 Bobby Wagner, if you even can pull him, I'm not sure if you can, are probably not that high. And if you can't pull Bobby Wagner and you can't pull JJ Watt, I personally don't think this set is actually going to be worth it. In my opinion, are the two elite player sets worth it? Probably not. To be honest, the only Series 4 set that I really think potentially is worth it is, of course, the Coach Madden one. And besides that, really just the NAT Justin Houston. And that's if you only want to pick up his Team of the Week limited time card, which still is going to cost you quite a bit of coins. So personally, I'm not a big fan of any of these Series 4 sets, but I do actually have something in mind that you guys can do. And to be honest, it's probably better than any Series 4 set in the game. But, again, if you want to pick up Justin Houston, you guys definitely can. It's just, in my personal opinion, I don't think he's the best outside linebacker in the game right now. And with him getting a limited time Team of the Week, I really don't know if you even get another upgrade in the game the rest of the year. So if you want to be stuck with Justin Houston, you can go with him. Personally, I don't think the Elite Player Packs are worth it. There's too much risk involved with players you can pull that are not even worth the quick sell value. And the same thing with the 86 to 89. So personally, don't like any of the Series 4 sets, but I am going to show you guys another set you guys could do, and I think you definitely should do. So as of right now, Coach Madden is actually going for almost 800,000 coins. And yes, these Maddens actually do sell. So what you guys can do, instead of doing the 90 to 92 overall set, if you guys do that pack, right, let's say you do four of those packs, which doing the Series 1 John Madden, you'd have to go all the way back to Series 1, and you can put in any Series tokens. If you guys have Series 2, Series 3, just some sitting there in your item binder, you can go back to Series 1 and put them into Coach Madden and just get another Madden coach, which is currently going for almost 800k. If you pull four of those packs, so you spend the same amount of tokens you would take to do the Series 1, let's say you get four decent pulls that go for like, 100,000 coins each because there's so many players you could potentially pull to that pack I think it's better to take the surefire right away You're gonna make at least 800,000 coins out of all of those sets unless you're doing You know Justin Houston to actually get him I would recommend you just save your trophies and use them to get yourself a bunch of John Madden's this is a great strategy that I know a lot of people actually use is just saving up all your tokens and getting a bunch of Madden's because Eventually, the next scheme comes out or whatever with John Madden, you're going to be able to get like another speed boost and his price could potentially go up even more. So in my opinion, guys, unless you're getting Justin Houston, save them, 
do John Madden. Maybe you want to mess around and do 190 to 92. See if you can possibly pull like a 91, 92 overall player and make a little bit of coins off of that. But hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below your opinions on this. Personally, John Madden, I think, is still the way to go. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time.